Hey guys, on today's show, let's say you have a medical emergency, you're out in the field, you're out in the middle of nowhere, and you got a call for help. You've exhausted all your other options. What could you do to call out for help and get assistance? That's good. We're going to discuss that and a little bit more right here, right now on Ham Radio for Non-Techies. Welcome back to Ham Radio for Non-Techies, guys. My name is Scott. My call sign is KI5MPL, and this is Ham Radio for Non-Techies, where we try to simplify the ham radio hobby to get you to study for and pass your exams, make you a licensed ham radio operator as quickly as possible. Now, before we start here, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, click on the little bell, be notified when I do new videos. And guys, give me a thumbs up in this video here. It really helps out. It helps get that video out to other people that might that it might help out. Uh, so anyway, I had a question from my uh, brother in Norway. And uh, he says, if you have a ham radio with you as a security measure on, say, off-road expedition or some kind of other outing, uh, say you're in a medical emergency and need help. All other communication means have been expired. All you have is your radio. How would you go about using your system? Would you call certain people? How would you call out? Would you call out into the blind? What would you do? And I had to think about this a little bit. And one thing I would probably suggest is before you go out, and I'm, I'm going to assume, I'm going to do two different scenarios here. I'm going to do one scenario where you just have an HT radio, just a little handheld like this, and I'll do a second scenario where maybe you happen to have an HF rig somewhere. All right, Maybe you're out camping and there's a medical emergency, you just happen to have your, your HF radio and a good antenna. Uh, first things first, in a situation like this, I would, would pre-program my HT radio with any repeaters in the area. Now, I've got videos on that, on how to use RT systems, uh, repeater book, things like that, and program your radio. So if you're going out to a specific area, see if there's repeaters around there and program your radio for those repeaters. Secondly, I would also have in there a couple of simplex. The 146.52 is the international ham radio frequency for making contacts and you, you, you know c calling people and talking to people. So I definitely have that in there as well. But you also have to keep in mind, depending on the conditions of where you are, this little whip antenna is only going to go so far. You're going to have to get up pretty high. So it might not be a bad idea to maybe bring some sort of a roll-up J-pole, like the Ed Fong J-pole, uh, and plug that in and have, have that in your pack, you know, as part of your just regular carry gear. And we can throw that up in a tree somewhere and hopefully get better reception. Or some way to get an antenna higher up than where you are at ground level. I mean, I don't know how tall most of you are. I'm five foot 10 and I can only hold this thing up so high and still talk into it where I can, where I can send out any, any kind of a uh, transmission and hopefully get somebody to receive it and get back to me. So I would think that having a, uh, a, a better antenna or some way to have an external antenna you can raise up into a tree somewhere to get as high up as possible to maximize your range uh, would be the best way to go. Another thought and this actually came from my my mother. She suggested, well, if you're in a situation, he says here, all other communication means have been expired. Okay, before you get to that point, we all carry cell phones. And yeah, 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 you might be in a place where your cell phone doesn't reach out and uh, you know might not reach to a, uh, to a to people. But how about this as an option? And this is just a, 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 a for instance, we all have voicemail attached to our phones and would it not be logical to maybe if you're at the last couple of little bars on your battery and this thing's getting ready to die on you log into your voicemail and leave a voicemail message re-record -re your voicemail you know greeting saying hey this is so and so we're at this location at this grid square or we're at this place and this is what happened we need help please send help and have that just be on your on your voicemail as a uh, as a message. That way, if somebody did happen to call you, say you were gone for a little bit, people tried calling you, they would get that voicemail message, that greeting you'd normally have saying, hey guys, this is so-and-so's phone, please leave a message. Instead of that, be like, hey, help me, I'm screwed, and here's where I am, I need help, we can't reach anybody. People will still get that message. So that might be another alternative way, thinking outside the box a little bit, to help you to get assistance, and then they could, uh, you know, 
get get a hold of somebody in the area to go out and find you and get you the help you need. So situation two, this is assuming you have a little camp set up and for some reason, you know, well, if you're a ham, there's no reason not to. Uh, you have your H your HF rig out. You got your 7300, your 991, your 891, your 7100, whatever you've got. You got you got some HF rig out there, and you got a let's say NVET half wave uh, antenna. If you got that out there and re ready to rock and roll, there is nothing wrong with jumping on one of the bands, 20 meters, 40 meters, whatever you can get your hands on, and get on there and say, hey, I need help. If you can get a hold of anybody, even if they're in another state, they can they they might be in a position where they can call into you know. If you say you're at a big national park or something, they can call into the, the ranger station and say, hey, I just got somebody on the radio here. They're out at this area of the of the woods in the in the park or whatever, and they're, 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 they, they need medical help. Somebody somewhere can provide you the information or provide you the assistance you need to get the proper authorities to you as soon as possible in that respect. So I think those are some great ideas, but it has to start, you have to start with, you know, preparation. And prepping your radios for a situation like that, we don't, you don't, we never anticipate things are going to happen, but sometimes things just do happen. And when they do, sometimes they happen in a much quicker way than we expected, and it can catch us off guard. But if you're prepared for it, if you know, hey, I'm going out in the middle of freaking absolute nowhere, and I probably should have my radios pre-programmed for whatever repeaters are in the area and test those out, make sure they work, and maybe have some other simplex uh, frequencies on if, you, if you're just stuck to an HF or a, a, an HT using VHF UHF there are some options there if you have an HF rig then you have a couple more options now you can reach out further to people you can call out CQ and, and talk to somebody maybe somebody will answer the phone or answer the uh, the call and most of the time you're going to get a hand that's going to help out we help each other out in this in this service slash hobby so I would assume that if you were able to make contact with somebody and explain the situation and say, hey, we need to get help out to this place. Here's where we are. And try to give as many details as possible so that they can relay that information to the proper authority to get you the assistance you need. I think that's a win-win. So that was my that was my thing here for today, guys. I didn't want to make it really long. Uh, this is just something I thought about, you know, after I got this message. Like, you know, there's probably other people out there who might not know what to do about that. You know, you think about it. Oh, I got my radio on me. But you never know, well, what if something actually happened? What would I do? I think these are three great options for you, and I think you should consider them as uh, a good preparation for when you go out somewhere like that. Don't get caught with your pants down and be in the middle of nowhere and no way to reach anybody. Your cell phones are not going to be reliable, and if you you know if you did try to reach people, stuff that if something happens and your cell phone ends up dying, you know right before it dies. Make a new greeting on your voicemail. Somebody might end up calling you for the sheer heck of it, and that might be the the the, uh, the catalyst that sparks your survival. Anyway, guys, again, please give me a thumbs up in this video if you liked it. Remember to subscribe, click on a little bell, be notified when I do new videos. Remember, I've got a Patreon if you want to support the channel. I could really use support right now to keep the channel running, rocking, and rolling. And I got a couple new things coming up in the future here. I'm not going to reveal that just yet. I just want to get some anticipation going. But I got some kind of cool things in the works for uh, some secondary items for all you guys. So anyway, guys, until then, stay safe. Think ahead. Prepare when you, prepare things before you go out and do just running out in the, in, the, in the middle of nowhere doing something. Be prepared for it, all right? At least as much as you can. Until then, guys, this is Ham Raider for Non-Techies, and we are